Uh, hey guys, just doing another update for this server. Uh, give you guys an idea of what's been going on this week uh, and let you know what you can be doing to help out with uh, kind of the collaborative effort that we're doing. So, uh, this week Craig has finished up his uh, wall system. All of the walls with the walk along path on top are finished. I'm going to give you a little tour. And he also did a cool thing up here with a platform. He built it around the tree. Uh, a really cool tree that happened to grow up on the top of that hill. We call it the sacred tree, but... Yeah. Uh, he built a little grass patch around it. It looks good. Okay. And the walls continue around through here. And they continue all the way over uh, to there, which Craig built a little bridge over there, which is pretty cool. I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you uh, something that I've been working on. Uh, it's kind of cool. Um, over here in the storeroom, I've just been experimenting with do a door system. How you can get two doors to uh, close and open at the same time. But more importantly, I've been experimenting with redstone circuitry. Uh, using uh, logical circuits to construct interesting things. So as you can see, uh, they both open and close on the switch. And the, most, the important thing is that they also, uh, this switch is the exact same thing, which is kind of difficult to do. I'll show you how it's done in a minute. So if you look down here, uh, you don't have to come down here, but I'll just show you real quick. Uh, basically, it's a stupid flag. Okay. Uh, so uh, basically, I constructed an XOR gate, which feeds into a NOT gate here and then controls when the doors open and close based on the input from the switches on either end. Uh, these torches operate the door and basically that's how it works. You hit the switch and it will toggle these. This will turn on and this will go off. And that's how the doors open and close at the same time. It doesn't matter which switch is pushed either. So, you go this way. so that's what I've been working on. I'm going to be doing a lot more work in the near future with redstone. It's pretty cool. Um, and uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the storeroom. All of our valuables and materials are stored here, and they're all labeled miscellaneous tools, etc. Everything labeled by uh, the block. And left means top, so wood's up top, stone's up bottom, cobblestone. Okay, and now I'm going to continue back along Craig's wall system and show you the bridge that he made. Uh, it continues. Starting from over there, it continues back up here. Uh, he fixed this so it looks better uh, from the one wide to the three wide. And this continues through to Justin's bridge with the glass bottom. And all the way over to our tower, the big tower with the lava flowing and the portal on top. And then down through the basement of it. Uh, this still needs to be fixed. The stairs don't quite line up into a full platform, but that's not important. Uh, so this is the bridge Craig did. I think it looks really good. Uh, it has water flowing on it with some cotton blocks. Really, they're just white. It, cotton is really just used for colored blocks. It, you don't have to really think of it as cotton. Uh, so you can dye it. That's what we're going to do a lot more of. So anytime you see a sheep, make sure you collect the wool. I'm not going to right now, just for sake of time. Uh, so the wall system continues over here and back up to where I started up there. And finally, uh, I've been working on our new castle, which is right up here. Uh, if anyone wants to help, it's going to be a big project. It's going to take a long time and a lot of stuff. So, mining helps. Uh, turning cobblestone to stone will help. Anything you can do to help out would be appreciated. But uh, basically it's going to be big uh, vaulted ceilings. I haven't really decided how high yet. I have to deal with that cloud level. But probably at least six or seven blocks high. And then this section back here is going to be even higher. Uh, there will be a staircase leading up right here. And then another staircase going down into the basement. Um, and then there will be a even higher tower coming up oop, coming up right here you can see kind of the outline of it it's going to raise off of the second level right here this being the first 
and it's going to go all the way up. I don't know how high. Probably not as high as that tower, but pretty high. And that's about it. Um, also, I have plans. Since it's kind of difficult to get from here to here. Uh, I want to maybe build an underground rail system with powered mine carts going from here to there. So if anyone wants to tackle that project, uh, let me know. Alright, see you guys. Bye.